Emma McLean again, how are you? And this is vlog number two for our Q&A lead generation blog series for January. Today I'm going to answer Deb Kleinert's um, question. Thank you, Deb. And Deb has asked, if you are starting out, what are the key first steps to generating leads online and what mistakes should we avoid? Such a great question. So let's kick off with number one. What are the key first steps to generating leads online? The very, very first place that I want you to start thinking about is who is your market and where do they congregate? Where do they congregate online? It's very important that if you want to generate leads online, that your market is online and they know how to use the internet. Second of all, where are they congregating? So that's where you want to go and advertise. That's where you want to be blogging, where you want to be writing articles. That's where you want to be posting your videos. It's where you want to be having conversations and interacting with your market or the leaders within this market. Also, I want you to ask yourself this question. What is the question? that your market needs answered before they come looking for your solution. Now the answer to that question is actually going to highlight for you what your opt-in should be. I'm going to ask the question, I'm going to say the question again for you. What is the question that your market needs answered before they come looking for your solution? Get clear on what the answer is to that and you'll be able to identify exactly what your opt-in needs to provide, what your opt-in needs to focus on so that you can grab your market's attention very quickly and get them opting in and joining your tribe, joining your list and providing you with contact details. Now what are some of the biggest mistakes that we can avoid? It can be a very, very expensive exercise generating leads online. If you're not advertising in the right place, or if you're advertising in a place that doesn't, isn't really filled with your market. So for example, I advertised um, inside a, a network a couple of weeks ago, and that network was both men and women, um, which is fine, but my market is women only. Now, it was a very cheap advert, however, as much as I love men, I had quite a lot of guys uh, opt in. So they were, they were opt-ins that I paid for. And as much as my stuff can help guys in business, I don't service guys in business. So that was a bit of a waste of money for me. Also, the biggest mistakes that you can make is actually not measuring your lead generation. So not measuring how many clicks you're having uh, that are coming through, how many of those click-throughs are actually opting in and how many of those opt-ins you're actually closing into a sale. The biggest mistake that you can make is consistently spending money on a lead generation campaign or within a, a particular medium that isn't returning you sales. It's one thing to get lots of leads, it's another thing to get high quality leads and it's a completely separate thing to have leads that are converting into sales. So please make sure, and I know it's boring, it's incredibly boring, and it's something that I used to try and avoid, but please measure your lead generation. You do not want to be spending money on adverts or a lead generation campaign that is not generating you leads that convert into sales. They must always convert into sales. One more mistake that I'd like for you to avoid at all costs, and that is developing an opt-in which is full of only content. It's really important that whatever it is that you offer to your market has great content. That goes without saying. You're not going to survive in business if you're not providing awesome, awesome content to your market. But please, also, put some of yourself into that opt-in. Share your character, who you are, the sort of person that you are. Share a little bit about your life, because you know what? Your market comes to you for your content, but they stay because of who you are and what you represent. Humans 
connect with humans, not with information. So please be human. Be a flawed character. Love who you are, accept who you are, and share it with the world because that's who your market wants to see. That's who they want to connect with. They don't want to connect with corporate, grey, black and white pieces of information. That's great. It helps them with their businesses. It helps them solve their, solve their problems. However, they need to stick around long enough to be able to solve their problems, right? So in order for them to stick with you, you need to share a little bit about you and allow them to like you and connect with you and want to hang around. That's probably, the, that's probably the most important piece of information that I could provide for you today. Anyway, I hope that adds some value to your lead generation ex escapades. If you have any other questions, please jump on Naked Women's Business inside Facebook. Ask your question, post it on the page, and I will answer it for you over the next coming weeks. And if you haven't registered for our full day, biggest lead generation event of 2012 event for the 30th of January, it's completely free, where I'm going to take you inside my business and show you exactly how I generate leads and turn them into an average of $344 in sales, then jump on Naked Women's Business inside Facebook or go to www ambermclean.com.au and register your seat for free. See ya.